Hi, young folks everywhere. I'm Tanya Bethaju, author of Kings, Queens, and In-Betweens, and I am sending you so much love right now in this really weird time. I know that the world might feel really small to you at the moment because we're all confined to specific spaces and that those spaces might not be safe or supportive for you to be who you really are. When I was a teenager, my world sometimes felt small too. Not because I couldn't go out or because spaces were shut down like they are now, but because I didn't feel like I could be who I really was anywhere. In my home, at my school, out in public, on my basketball team. I remember pretending a lot. Pretending to be happy, pretending that I didn't need comfort, pretending to like boys. I made up so many crushes, y'all. But I was really scared to be my true self. Some of you might be feeling like that right now. Maybe you can't be your authentic self in the space you're limited to at this time. That's really hard, I know. And it might feel like you don't have much control over your world right now. I don't have a perfect answer to every single one of you, but here are a few ideas that might help you create your own personal safe space wherever you are. Number one, I'm a writer and an English teacher, so I'd be remiss if I didn't mention books right off the bat. But truly, there are so many amazing books out there that reflect queer experiences positively. Maybe you'll find comfort in the pages of those stories like I have. Number two, same goes for film and social media. Campaigns like this one, if you have access to the internet, fill your world with as many positive messages as you can. There are more and more out there. And I know as a young person, watching movies that depicted queer lives made my existence feel more real and more possible. Number three, write. Try it. You might be surprised at how good it can feel to get your fears and hopes out onto the page. And number four, reach out. Use the resources out there that are meant for you and your current situation. Helplines, LGBTQ+, resource websites. There are so many people out there who care about you and want you to be safe. Reach out to your favorite authors, friends, teachers, activists. You don't have to deal with this stuff alone, and no one wants you to. I certainly don't want you to. Know that you are beautiful and magical and perfect as you are, because I said so, and I'm always right. Just ask my wife. Stay safe, stay true, my friends. I am thinking about you and sending you love from afar.